Welcome back. Welcome back, Math Party people. Anderson here, your math coach. And here, we're taking a next step here in terms of calculating with percentages. So, in the previous video, if you didn't catch it already, remember, you should have practiced with those worksheets and speed drills. But we went over how to just straight up take the percent of a number, where it was like, hey, 5% of 100 is what? Right? Now, we're working backwards to find what that original number was. So, here's how we're going to work backwards. Remember that working forward, we multiply the percent by the original to get the result. Well, to get the original, you work backwards and you're gonna divide by that percent. And let me show you why this makes sense. So let's take care of this first problem here. We're looking at 2% is, or excuse me, two is 110% of what? So two is 110% of what? So let's write that down here. Two is, so that means equals, 110%, so remember 110%, whenever you're including a percent in some sort of calculation, you need to turn it into a decimal. So 110% into a decimal, remember that all we need to do is move that decimal place over two times, and that's gonna be 1.1. So we have 1.1, and then remember that the word of means multiply, so times, and then we have what? So we can say a big old question mark right there, or you can say W for what, it doesn't really matter to me. All I'm gonna show you here, my math partner people, is this. You're taking a look at this and you're saying, hey, two equals 1.1 times some number. So if you multiply some number by 1.1, you miraculously get two. So work backwards. If I multiply this number by 1.1, I get two. So if I work backwards, I'm gonna take that two and divide it by 1.1. If I, you know, if I'm solving this like an equation and you do the same thing to both sides, notice that this goes away and you're gonna get your W by itself. Whatever two divided by 1.1 is equals W. Now, this is where things get slightly more complicated only because it just adds one small extra step. Remember, when you're dividing by a decimal, you don't wanna divide by a decimal, you really don't. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you change the denominator or the divisor by moving that decimal place over. And remember, whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top, right? So looking at two divided by 1.1, not gonna be the funnest thing to do, but what you can do is change it by moving the decimal place over to the right one time. So this ends up becoming 20 divided by 11. That's what's gonna be your answer. So let me just make sure that I'm being very clear before I start calculating. If you wanna find the original number, you have the percent, you have the result, but you're trying to find the original, divide. To go backwards to find the original, you divide. So basically here, two is 110% of what? Cool, divide two by 110%. Two divided by 1.1 or 20 divided by 11, now we're good to go. So let's put in the time, let's put in the effort, let's go ahead and calculate. So 11 going into, 20, and we put some decimals just in case. So how many times does 11 go into two? It doesn't. 11 goes into 20, that's gonna be one time. Take away the 11, you have nine, bring that zero down, put that decimal where it belongs. From here, 11 goes into 90, that's gonna be eight times because of 88. Bring that two down and zero. How many times does 11 go into 20? And you see that we're gonna have a pattern going on here because if we keep doing this, we got nine, then we got 90 again, and it's gonna keep repeating itself forever and ever and ever. So it's gonna be eight, 1 1.8, 1 8, 1 8, 1 8, 1 8, repeating forever. So with that said, basically what you're gonna do now is you're gonna say, hey, look, if I have 1.8181 forever, let me just round that off to two decimal places, and that'll be 1.82, right there. But again, don't feel nervous about the numbers. These are just numbers and decimals. And if you forgot how to divide by decimals, I recommend that you go to that video and learn how to divide by decimals. Go to the decimal section of the course, and it's right there. And then also, again, we're working backwards. That's all we're doing. Let me go ahead and take you through three, four more examples, because I got your back. Here we go. Let's go ahead and say that we have even a number bigger than 100. It doesn't matter, my party people. We got uh, 290% of what? is 118.6. So literally, look at this, 290%. Turn that into a decimal. 
So you'll grab that decimal right there, move it over to the left two times. So you're saying 2.9 of, which means multiply, of what? So some question mark equals is 118.6. So if you take a look at this, my math party people, working forward, he would multiply 2.9 by whatever number to get that 118.6. To work backwards to get that original number, you're going to have to go ahead and divide both sides by 2.9. So again, to find the original number. And it's me again, your coach Anderson. Look, you're doing these problems right here on YouTube, but I want you to join me for a live class that's free once a week. I do this because I wanna help other people succeed just like you. So if you wanna raise your score, sign up for my free classes once a week. They're hosted on Zoom. And on top of that, you'll get my free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every mistake. So there's no reason not to sign up so go ahead, get off your butt, sign up here, the link there, somewhere over here, figure it out, but sign up and I'll see you in the next class, my ASVAB party people. Let's get back to the problem. You divide both sides by 2.9 because it'll cancel out. Multiplying by 2.9 and dividing by 2.9 right over here, that'll cancel right out. So my job is to go ahead and figure out what this is. And remember, we're dividing by a decimal. I don't really like seeing that. So the easy way to go ahead and change that up is to just change that up by moving those decimals to the right one time each. Because remember, you've moved both of them at the same time, the same amount of times. So with that, here we go. We got 1186, 29, and now we're ready to divide. So let's go ahead and get into it, my math party people. Here we go. 29 divided into 1,186. How many times does 29 go into one? It doesn't. 29 goes into 11? It doesn't. 29 into 118, hmm, good question. That could possibly be potentially times four, maybe. Let's double check here. So again, 29 times four, just double checking here. Nine times four is 36. Two times four is eight. Eight plus three is 11. So what we have here is 116, which yeah, that would definitely work. So we would say, hey, that's gonna be a four minus 116, that'll leave it with a two. Let's put a decimal here just in case, just in case. So then we bring down that six. 29 goes into 26 a total of zero times. Then we bring down that next zero, so 260. How many times does 29 go into 260? I'm gonna assume nine times because 29 times 10 would be 290, that's too much. So maybe 29 times nine. Okay, 29 times nine, let's check that out. Nine times nine is 81. Two times nine is gonna be 18, 18, uh, going ahead and uh, adding the 8, so that would be 26. So it's 261, and that's actually too much. So it's going to have to be 8. So let me figure out what 29 times 8 is going to be really quick. 9 times 8 is 72. 2 times 8 is going to be uh, 16. Or, and then 16 plus 7, that's going to be 23. So we got 232. So for 8 times, minus 232. And then from here, you just keep going. So we end up with a remainder of, it looks like it's gonna be 28. Then we bring down that zero, 280. So in that case, that'll be nine. And then from there, we would subtract the 261 that's right over here. And then we have 19 left over. And you can keep going, but you have 40.89, which would definitely round off to 40.9. And there's your answer. And you're all set. So my math party people, you don't always have to go ahead and go all the way through with all the digits. All you need to do is make sure that you know the procedure. If you want to find the original number, all you're doing is going ahead and dividing that result by the percent to go backwards to the original number. Let's go ahead and go through a couple more examples here. I got you. Again, this may seem hard, but again, it really is going to be depending on your ability to just perform calculations as long as you know the procedure. So here we go. 8% of what is 43? If you write this out, again, from English to math, you're saying 8%, so 0 0.08 of, so times, some number, so what, is equals 43. So notice, we're not working forward here. We're not going ahead and multiplying the 0 0.08 by something. We gotta work backwards to find out what that is. We gotta work backwards. And so working backwards, what we're gonna end up having is 43 divided by 0 0.08.
Now here's the only problem at Math Party, people. The only problem is that we're dividing by a decimal. And so remember, to get rid of that decimal, we're gonna wanna go ahead and move that decimal place. So over here, we see that to get it to be a whole number at the bottom, we wanna go ahead and one, two. So if I do that over here, I gotta do that over here. One, two. So this is gonna be 4,300 divided by eight. That's the same thing. So now that we're not dividing by a decimal anymore, now we can actually go ahead and divide. And so here we'll have eight dividing into, let me just move that down a little bit. So eight dividing into 4,300. And I'll use a decimal just in case, but here we go. Eight doesn't go into four, but eight goes into 43. Eight goes into 43, that's gonna be five times. Eight times five is 40. There's your three, bring down that zero. Eight goes into 30 three times, because eight times three is 24. You get a six. Eight goes into 60, that's gonna be seven times, because eight times seven is 56. You have a four remaining, bring that decimal place, bring down that zero. Eight goes into 40 five times, and that is clean. And so my answer is gonna be 537.5. And there's your answer, 537.5, and we're good. So again, my math party people, to get back to that original number, you divide. To get the result, you multiply. That's seriously it. That's seriously it. You just have to understand that you're dealing with, that you're dealing with, again, well, hey, am I dealing with the original? Am I dealing with the result? And by turning that English into math, you can clearly see what's going on. Because remember at the end of the day, my math party people, the percent of the original equals the result. As long as you're playing off of that main idea, you're good to go, my math party people. So let's go ahead and try another one here. So here, 48.9, so 48.9 is, so equals 10%, which is the same thing as saying 0 0.10, or just 0 0.1, whichever way you wanna say it, uh, of, so multiply, what? So question mark. So notice I turned the percent to a decimal, which again, it should be a skill that you know how to do. And so now we have 48.1 equals 0 0.1 times some question mark. We are not working forward. We are not looking for the result. We have the result. We're looking for the original. Percent of the original. Percent of the original equals result. Equals the result. So we're working backwards here. We need to divide both sides by that 0 0.1 to see that that's the operation we're doing. We're doing 48.9 divided by 0 0.1. And this problem actually becomes a lot easier than you thought because when you're dividing by 0.1 and you move that decimal place over to the right one time, again, you gotta do it to the top and the bottom, you end up having 489 divided by one. Ain't that easy. That's just gonna be 489 and we're good. And that's gonna be answer choice B and we're set. Just like that. I'm gonna take care of another one first, my math party people, let's go ahead and take care of this one here. Let's say 39% of what is 39? Well, the answer here with experience, you'll be able to tell that the answer here is gonna be 100 instantly. And here's how I know. Watch this, my math party people. So 39%, so 0 0.39 of multiply what some question mark, I don't know what it is, is equals 39. Okay. So when you take a look at this, my math party people, well, how do I go from 0.39 to 39 when you multiply? If you move the decimal place to the right two times or multiply by 100, that'd be it. That would be 100. The other way you could see it is by doing exactly what I taught you to do. Take that result, divide it by the percent, and then go ahead and solve. Only problem is, hey, look, we're dividing by a decimal again. I don't wanna see that. And so I'm gonna get rid of that decimal by moving the decimal place over to the right one, two times. Here it is there, one, there you go, there it is twice. And so this becomes 3,900 divided by 39. And when we actually divide right over here, right there, look at this, my math party people. What we have is 39 going into three, doesn't work. 
into 39 is one time. You can't divide into zero, can't divide it into zero, your answer is 100. Just like that, your answer is 100 and you're good. So with experience, you'll be able to tell, hey, oh man, if you're saying 50% of what number is 10, you know your answer is 20 because 50% means half. If you're saying, hey, uh, if you're saying, you know, 12 is 25% of what? Well, 25% means a quarter, one fourth. So if you work backwards and times by four, you get 48. So you'll see different examples all the way through, all the way through. So let's go ahead and check out number eight, and then we're gonna call it a day, my math party people. So we have 40%, which is the same as saying 0 0.4. Again, 40%, one, two, 0 0.40 or 0 0.4 of, so multiplied by what equals is 95, that is a 95, I'm gonna get rid of that right there. That is a 95 right there. And before we continue my math party people, really quick before we continue, I know that you're enjoying this video and I wanna make sure that more people can enjoy these videos just like you. So if you wouldn't mind, just take a quick second, like this video, comment on it, just showing some appreciation, showing what you learned, and then make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that way when we come out with new videos, typically every day, you can be right there on the spot to catch on to them. So help us help others ace the ASVAB, I'm Anderson, let's keep going here. Okay, so what we see that we have to do here, my math party people, is divide the 95 by the 0.4. Let's go ahead and get into it. So we have 95 divided by 0 0.4. Move that decimal place over to the right one time. Move this to the right one time because you've got to do it both at the same time. So we end up having 950 divided by 4. And once we do that, here we go. Now we can see this very clearly. We can divide and we can figure this out. So four goes into nine two times. Four goes into 15 three times. And then four goes into 30. That's gonna be seven times. So we subtract the 28 here to get the two. We have a decimal place, so we'll include that with a zero. Let's drop that zero there, four to 20. That's a perfect 20 or five times. And so you're good there. And your answer would be 237.5. And there it is right there. And so my math party people, at the end of the day, the point of this is to understand that with percentages, there are ways to work forward. There are ways to work backward. We need to make sure we know how to do both ways, especially coming up in the next couple of videos. We're going to be talking about how to find the original percent that you're taking. So I could say, hey, what percent of 20 is 10 and you're going to have to figure out what the percentage is and that's what's coming up in the next series of videos but for right now what i want you to do is practice this technique if you're in the course make sure you're going next to the worksheet then to the speed drills right after that because once you have those solidified and really down packed then bam you're all good to go my math party people so at the end of the day I'm Anderson, your math coach, always happy to help you out. Let's keep moving forward and let's keep crushing this. I got your back. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you wanna raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe and raise your score.